All right, if you've got sunglasses, you might want to chuck them on now because today we're taking a squint at the Nokia G42 5G, a phone that is so outrageously pink that probably even Barbie would be like, ah, that's a bit much, guys. But is this budget-friendly blower all glamour and no grunt? Well, it cost you under £200 here in Blighty. Let's whip it on out of the box, take you on a full tour, test out the camera tech, the game and performance, all that good stuff. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, what do you get in the box besides the Nokia G42? Well, you've got yourself a USB Type-C cable, a simple quick start guide, and a pokey pin device which can be used to slap your SIM in the Nokia G42 and also to help self-repair it. More on that in a bit. And that's it. No adapter in here, so you'll have to keep your old one, otherwise purchase a new one. So right, let's check out the phone. All right, so I've got the Nokia G42 all set up, ready for action. So let's check out that rather spangly design, which should certainly get you a good few looks as you're strutting your way down the street. Now, first off, it's a pretty standard Nokia design besides the obviously really in-your-face color option here. You've got that good bit of Jimmy Hill chin action around front, just without the Nokia branding like it used to have back in the day. And check this out. Up top, you've actually got that selfie camera housed in an old-fashioned nipple notch. And the Nokia G42 is certainly a hand filler thanks to the 6.56-inch display and the fact that you've got those fairly chunky bezels. And I wouldn't describe this phone as thick, but it's not particularly slender either. You've got those flat edges, but thankfully rounded corners, so it feels reasonably comfortable to clutch. And the edges and that arse end are constructed from plastic, 60% recycled apparently. And yeah, Nokia has certainly done some bold colours in the past with its feature phones and its smartphones, but this pink bad boy right here, wow. I've got to say it's not quite the full-on pink that I was expecting from some of the photos. It's more of a purpley pink. Almost looks kind of burgundy when the light strikes it just so. You know what? F*** it, I like it. I'm, I, I will happily go on record. Uncle Spurt loves this pink blower right here. But if you're not entirely convinced that pink is the option for you, well, you can also grab the Nokia G42 in a proper deep purple, or also grey if you just can't handle joy. And the Nokia G42 is IP52 splash resistant, so it can handle getting a bit spattered, like so. But yeah, you'll want to towel it off pretty quick just in case. But yeah, a light bit of British inclement weather should be fine. And the Nokia G42 also boasts that quick fix design. This basically means you can replace key components like the battery yourself at home using some simple tools that you can grab from iFixit. Although I will point out this is rather fiddly and involves dealing with a shag load of tiny screws. So not ideal if, like me, your eyesight's crap and your hands are all shaky from a lifelong abuse of special brew. But anyway, if you want to learn more about Quick Fix and actually want to see it in action, well definitely go check out my Nokia G22 video. Anyway, let's shift from the hardware onto the software side of things. And what you've got here is a good bit of Android action. It is Android 13. And as usual with Nokia blowers, it's in a lovely raw state as well. No messing around with launches or anything. So it is a similar setup to what you get with the likes of a Pixel phone. Unfortunately, this does mean that customization is limited, so you can't get rid of the at a glance up top. And likewise, this wee search bar down here is stuck here permanently. But the good news is that manufacturer HMD Global is pretty generous when it comes to those software updates, especially compared with other budget rivals like Motorola. So here on the Nokia G42, you'll enjoy two OS upgrades and three years of security updates. However, yes, one of those Android upgrades will be to Android 14, which is actually set to fully officially launch in just a couple of weeks' time. But I, if you want yourself a streamlined Android experience, the G42 certainly provides that, packed with all the usual great security and privacy features. You've got yourself an edge-mounted fingerprint sensor just built into that power button. Just lay your digit across it and it will automatically read it and you're straight into your desktops. Highly satisfying and there's also a bit of face unlock action as well, so just tap that power button and as you can see again, pretty quick as long as the lighting conditions aren't shady. It's less secure than that fingerprint unlock, but at least it does the job if your hands are a bit moist, a bit grubby. And that 128 gigs of storage space can be boosted with the micro SD memory card up to one terabyte in size, just slips into that second SIM slot right there. Bit of a tongue twister that. And yes, in case you were wondering, that SIM tray is indeed pink. Now the Nokia G42 sports a 6.56 inch IPS display. It's only an HD plus resolution, 1612 by 720 pixels. 
And so yeah, those visuals aren't quite as crispy, as finely detailed as Full HD displays, which you can find quite happily on budget phones these days. But this blow is still absolutely fine for editing your pics and for just kicking back with some Netflix, Disney Plus, whatever stream and service you're particularly fond of. And that nipple notch only intrudes ever so slightly on the action when you go full screen. You've got nice wide viewing angles and the G42's panel hits just over 500 nits on the maximum brightness. So you can generally see what's going on outdoors even when it's quite sunny as long as you haven't got full on glare reflecting off that glossy surface. And that refresh rate maxes out at 90 hertz as well so flipping around the UI and everything a nice fluid experience same in your supported apps. In fact, it actually beats the latest iPhone 15 in this department. And as for the audio, well, it is a simple mono speaker setup here on the Nokia G42. That was down here on the bottom bit. But is it not naff? Well, let's crank up that volume, check it out. Hopefully those edges will remain rounded though, rather than going all flat like the iPhone. Because frankly, Apple's brick is about as pleasant to have in your hand as a warm bag of sick. Well, it is quite tinny when you boost up that volume. But as you can see, when you boost it up over a certain level, it does go to audio boost. This just makes it a bit louder and a bit tinnier. But certainly if you're trying to enjoy a YouTube video starring your favourite bald northern twat and your household is particularly rambunctious, it will just about do the job. Otherwise, you've got Bluetooth 5.1 streaming support if you'd rather slap on a pair of headphones or stream to a speaker or whatever. Or if you don't mind a bit of cable action, you've got a proper actual headphone jack here. Now the Nokia G42 is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 480 Plus chipset. It is a budget friendly platform, but I found the everyday experience here on the G42 nice and slick. Apps generally pop up as soon as you tap those icons and they run well as well. So if you're web browsing, just checking out your photos, all that good stuff, no worries. And the G42 could even handle a bit of light gaming on the side without cacking its metaphorical pants. I found that Call of Duty ran well with the HD graphics enabled on the higher visual settings. Not too many dips in that frame rate whatsoever, the screen's reasonably responsive. I mean, I've stood as much chance as I ever do in this game at not having my face absolutely splattered against the nearest wall. And even if you are gaming for a good long while, the Nokia G42 doesn't heat up. It's a very energy efficient chipset, that 480 Plus. And it does come packing a 5G modem as well. So yeah, full 5G mobile support on this bad boy. With Nokia smartphones, you're generally guaranteed really bloody good battery life as well. And the G42, no exception. You've got a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity cell crammed into that gorgeous pink body. And the combination of that big battery, the low powered chipset, the fact that you've only got a 720p display on this thing as well, all kinds of different factors means you'll easily get all day play from a single charge. In fact, if you don't go mental with it, you'll get a full weekend out of a single charge as well. Even using the likes of the camera doesn't drain that battery too fast. But the G42 does sport an ambient display, as it calls it. It's basically an always-on display, so permanently shown at the time and the date and any notifications that pop up. But of course, this isn't an OLED display, so that does actually sap quite a lot of battery power when it's switched on. I found that just leaving this on overnight, for instance, can take it down a good sort of 15%. So yeah, you'll probably want to knock that off if you do want to get a full weekend of life out of your Nokia G42, otherwise that'll probably just kill it dead. And yeah, the G42 in particularly nippy when it comes to the recharging. You've got 20 watt wired charging support, so you'll want to give it a good hour or two if you really want to power the bugger back up. So let's finish off this Nokia G42 unboxing and full tour with a squint at that camera tech. And what you have here is a triple lens setup. You've got a 50 megapixel primary shooter, no optical image stabilization or anything fancy like that though. And there's no ultra wide angle shooter or anything on here either. Those final two lenses are basically your bog standard two megapixel macro and depth sensor bollocks. But you do have quite a few different features and modes to piddle about with, including all your regular stuff, bit of portrait mode action. You've got a new upgraded night mode. And this includes a dedicated tripod mode if you can keep the phone nice and still for 10 seconds, get that long exposure shot. You've got a macro mode using that two megapixel sensor and a dedicated pro mode as well, which can be used to shoot raw images for a bit of post processing. Just swipe up on that shutter button. And as you can see there, you can mess around with the white balance, ISO levels, all that good stuff. And here's just a few sample photos that I snapped around the old homestead over the last couple of days with the Nokia G42. Seems perfectly capable for a budget-friendly smartphone as long as the lighting conditions aren't too tricky. 
Now, portrait mode can really help your subject to stand out, and the night mode certainly helps to brighten up a scene when things are quite dingy. So for your simple shareable shots and such forth, certainly does the job. You've also got a bit of video action, but this does top off at full HD, there's no 4K option. Your choice is basically 30 or 60 frames per second. But again, it's just fine for shooting simple shareable clips. The cats or the sprogs messing about or whatever. Stabilisation isn't great, so you'll want to stay relatively still, but the audio pick up nice and strong. You've got that Ozo audio surround sound capture, so everything in front of and behind of the camera comes through cleanly. And then last up, if the mood takes you, you can flip to that front facing camera and shoot 8 megapixel selfies. If you leave the AI portrait mode on, this does tend to smooth you out a bit, make you look a bit like some sort of deranged mannequin. But as long as you're not trying to shoot against a bright backdrop or in very dark conditions, then generally you won't look too bad. And the Nokia G42 will certainly do the job for your Skype and your Zoom and bit of video chat action. Mics do a pretty good job of picking up your voice even at a fair distance. And while you won't look particularly sharp, you're not like a grainy fuzzy mess or anything. And that in a nutshell is the fresh new Nokia G42. Very bright, very pink, but besides that a pretty solid all-round budget blower. So it'd be great to hear what you think of the Nokia G42 down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week. Charles.